Hey guys, uh, this is my makeup setup when I haven't cleaned it all week because I usually clean it on the weekend and it is Saturday right now. So this lovely mess is what happens. I hope I'm not the only one. Anyway, so this is my current setup. This is my everyday makeup drawer. So things that I use all the time are right here. And then I have hair stuff. And then these are both backup drawers in this bottom one. There's one more down here that's kind of full of nothing. And then over here is where I have all my other stuff. So I have like face stuff and eye stuff and more lips and more eye stuff. So basically this is all kind of a giant mess. It's basically one giant mess. It's kind of at one point was organized, but it's not perfect. So what I did was I got on Amazon and I ordered a couple of these guys, which I think these are made by about 20 million different brands on Amazon. So now I'm hoping to move all of my everyday stuff into here so that I can maybe move my more, uh, the stuff that's kind of all the way over there as backup products closer so it's easier for me to switch stuff in and out. Uh, so I thought maybe you would find that interesting as I kind of go through things and see what I use every day and what I want to have quick access to and maybe the audio quality would be kind of weird because the microphone's over here but clearly I'm not going to be able to be over here the whole time so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, if this looks like something you would be interested in, then keep watching and we'll see what happens together. I'm not really sure yet. How do I start this? This is going to be like the last thing I deal with, I think. And also, they don't quite stack right. Um, there are a couple reviews on Amazon that were like, yeah, they don't stack right. And then there were a couple reviews that were like, what are you talking about? They stack fine. And they don't stack correctly because this is shaped a little differently than the groove here. So if you put it on here, kind of moves back and forth a little bit. It doesn't move side to side very much though. Um, so when you're pulling this open, it's not a big deal, especially since I plan on putting it toward a, sort of toward the back against the wall. So I'm not too worried about it, but just in case you wanted to buy these, something to be aware of. Okay, so I'm thinking primers, sunscreens. So professional, I use all the freaking time. Uh, I have a couple sunscreens. There's a Magic Lumi here. I'm gonna put my eyeshadow primer in there too. See, it doesn't stay right. What do I have over here? Oh, I have a glow maximizer that I had completely forgotten about. Check that out. Let's do foundations here. Now, clearly I use the Outlast all the time. Um, currently I'm mostly 805 with a little bit of 810, so I'll put both of those in there. I also have been using the Laura Mercier Tinted Foundation, which has to go sideways, doesn't it? Perfect. And this four foundation is actually not bad. Surprisingly. Oh wow. Check that out, it's so separated. I do have a Marc Jacobs foundation, which I like a lot for special occasions, so I'll throw that in there. So there are the foundations I'm gonna have right next to me. Will you all fit? Please tell me you will all fit. It came with a little like cushion thing in the bottom, but that makes it a little taller, so let's see if I can get it to fit without that. Okay, well those are the three foundations I'm going to fit in there. There are a couple I would also like to be able to fit, but I can't, huh? Does that one fit? Yeah, better skin fits. There we go. Now I have four choices right there. So, ta -da! Foundations. You know what? Let's put concealers in there too. Since I have the room. I have a few. Uh, I have a few concealers. Let's see what I can fit in there. I have the Maybelline Fit Me 15. I think there's a lighter shade. Uh, the Puff Off, the Long Comb. A really old cover girl. And that one's not gonna fit. I don't know if that cover girl's gonna fit either, which honestly, that probably just means it needs to be thrown out. So there you go, there are those three concealers too. Uh, uh, powders, I'm going to put in the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana, which I like as an all over powder personally. Uh, I have the NYX Studio HD Finishing Powder, and then I have Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I also have a couple older fun, uh, this one. Everyday Minerals is a foundation, but it's super old. And then I have a color, <laughs> Revlon Color Stay, but I don't remember the last time I used it. So not necessary to be right next to me. And then I have my palette of Makeup Geek, but that would be all I could put in there. So not gonna happen. So there are some blushes. I have a couple mixed cream and the Josie Marin Water Chile and then a Kat Von D and Bellissima, which I freaking love. I used to use that all the time. And my Milani Luminoso. Let's do, uh, let's see how many contours, highlights, products y things I can get in here. Okay, this one's a tight fit, but it totally works. So I have the Too Faced, which one is this? Sun Bunny. 
bronzer. I have a couple Sephora. This is a bronzer and this is a one I'm currently using as my contour. I have a Becca low lying sculpting perfector and one of the highlighters. Then I have this uh, Make It Forever, I think it's actually a blush. Uh, I524. I think this came in the uh, Fifty Shades of Grey thing last year as the highlighter blush. So, it's okay. Then I have two little baby shelves up here. And I think that's how I'm going to put eyeliners and mascaras and brow products. So, I have three mascaras right now. I'm using the Marc Jacobs, I'm using Roller Lash, I'm using Full and Soft. Uh, what? Oh my god. Plan ruined. They don't. They don't plan. Wham. Hmm, what you're doing stayed. These way. So instead, the primers fit in this one, so I'm going to do primers on the baby one. So I'm going to put the mascara sideways here. So mascara sideways here, since the primers will fit in the baby. And then I'm actually going to put my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper in there as well, because it fits. And then let's do, okay, before I get to this here, do my eyeliners fit up here? So my eyeliners don't fit this way either, so I guess I'm going to put all those down here also. Um, only clearly not all of them because I probably won't be able to find all of them. So a few that I use consistently, or would like to use more consistently. Okay, so let's go with this instead. Uh, a few will fit vertically, so I went ahead and put those over here. I have the Brow Stylist Plumper, I have my Full and Soft, I have my other mascaras, then I have several eyeliners, both liquid, pencil, all sorts of varieties all in there that I would like to be able to reach for more often. And that leaves me with uh, cream eyeshadows and brow products. So for example, my Dip Brow, my Barely Branded that I use all the time. Where did I put that? I am going to put Pomegranate Punk in there, which I haven't used very much, but it's coming into autumn and that's kind of a color I've been feeling lately. I'm going to put in uh, Tough as Taupe as well, because I like that shade also. You know what else? Let's then also, since these are the same type of tub, let's put in my uh, Makeup Geek gel liners in Immortal and Mobster, which are the brown and the black. I'm thinking about getting that in navy too, but I haven't quite decided yet, so. Okay, there's that. So this is a little piece that goes on top. It has some room for lipsticks, uh, 12 little lipstick spaces, and then a couple other just big spaces. And I'm trying to decide if I want to stack them all up, or if maybe I want to go side by side. Give me a minute. Let me, let me play. I'll be right back. Okay, because I know people are going to ask, this giant acrylic thing came from my place of work where it is not available to the public because we use it in merchandising and then we just had too many. So I got to bring some home that it goes for all of these and also for this little one. So unfortunately I don't have a place to send you to get those. Um, also those nail polish uh, three tier things there. But there are so many places you can get acrylic storage things online, it's ridiculous. So I'm sure you can find something similar at least. So my choices are either to stack these or set them next to each other. So that's kind of option one. That looks really weird though. What if I put this behind with those two next to each other? It's a little harder to see all my palettes that way, huh? On top of there, I was thinking maybe I could put my perfumes. I don't have very many. So let's go with lipsticks. Lipsticks that I wear all the time. Actually, most of the lipsticks that I wear all the time are in my purse, of course. So let's see, I wear this. Okay, let me make these hard decisions off camera. I'll, I'll be back. Okay, so I think this is my new vanity setup. I am still going to deal with the drawers and I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with them yet but a lot more of my makeup is now readily available to me so I ended up picking my very favorite lipsticks which actually was easier than expected. I ended up having a hard time filling it almost 
which is crazy. So maybe that tells me I should get rid of some of those other ones that I have. Uh, if you want me to go through these, I can do that at a later date. But um, I moved the foundations up here because I didn't have any powder foundations over here, which is crazy. So let me just kind of recap and see if I can open these drawers. Uh, I have some cream products, eyeshadows, dip brow, liners. Here I have primers for both face and eye. This is liners and mascara and a brow mascara or brow gel. This, which was my foundations, is now concealers and highlighters because that was where they ended up fitting. Then if we move over here, this is powders. These are all blushes. And this is bronzing and contouring. And then I have one uh, powder foundation as well that I occasionally use to set lighter coverage things like the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I haven't done anything to these drawers yet, but probably I will put some more frequently used tools and things like my Beauty Blender sponges or uh, maybe my blush palette, like my NARS blush palette that I kind of want to reach for, but I don't want to have to go all the way over to those drawers. My Cover Effects palette that I use a lot. So just a couple things that don't necessarily fit up there, but that I still want to be readily available. Uh, my, we'll kind of see, we'll kind of see. I'm hoping to be able to have everything kind of reachable and then that over there can be kind of back up. So we'll see what I end up doing with that. So I spent a little more time with this doing a couple more videos this afternoon and I think this is how I'm gonna leave it for now. I, instead of having two next to each other, I just stacked them up and I moved all of the perfumes and stuff back over this way where they were before. Um, these I think are all the same though with the foundations up top instead of in here so that I had room for a powder foundation and some highlights instead and those foundations that wouldn't fit in there fit in there now. Uh, I put my eye brushes up here so they're easy to reach. I used a different acrylic piece, it's a little shorter, so that it's a little easier to see behind it. And also I think they fit a little easier now. I also thought this was cute. Um, this is a pretty and cute bag from back when I was in Portland. So I'm using that for all of my big fluffy brushes. <laughs> it makes me smile. Um, my light is currently over there helping light this. So that is kind of where it is for now. If that changes significantly, I will let you know. And if you're interested in like a full collection video, let me know. But this is really pretty much all the important stuff. So. Yeah, that is it. Hopefully this was at least somewhat interesting, and if there's any questions that you have about it, please let me know, and I will speak to you guys very soon. Bye!